Hi everyone, this is Betsy with ProsperWorks and today we're going to quickly go through how to import your existing data into ProsperWorks through a CSV or Excel file. So when you have a really big list of companies, people, or opportunities, CSV or Excel is a great way to easily upload all of that information into the system. And it's really important that if you're uploading all of these items, you're going to do it in that order. First companies, then people, and then import your opportunities. It's gonna help that data sync up a little bit easier within ProsperWorks. So when you go to import your data, you're gonna to go to system settings, go to import. We're gonna go ahead and start off with companies since I have a list of companies that I wanna import. And we're gonna to choose to do that from a CSV file right here. So um, we give you a template to which you can kind of match up your own Excel or CSV file as far as titles goes the order in which fields should go that you're importing. It doesn't have to be exact, but it's gonna help things sync up a little bit easier in ProsperWorks and have less field mapping on your end, which we'll get to in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. I have a file right here on my desktop that I wanna add in. It's my company list. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Um, let's take a quick look at what that list looks like before we go into field mapping. So you can see I have my company here. I have some of the contact information. I have if they're a current or potential customer. I have the region and their annual revenue. So it's all data about these companies I'm working with that I wanna get into Pressworks. So I've added that into the imports here, and now it's gonna ask me to map a few fields. So ProsperWorks is gonna recognize a lot of the fields that you have in your Excel or CSV file based on the title. Even if those titles aren't perfect, sometimes we'll be able to tell, but sometimes ProsperWorks is gonna ask you to map some of those fields. So on the left here, these are what the field titles are within ProsperWorks. These are what the titles are within your Excel file, and it wants to match those two together to make sure we're inputting data into the right field. It's also just gonna give you a little preview of what that information is going to look like in ProsperWorks. So you see in my Excel file, I had something called company. ProsperWorks isn't exactly recognizing what that field should be, and that's because within ProsperWorks, that's just called name instead of being called company, it's just the company's name. So I'm gonna map those together, and it's gonna recognize that. And now we can go down and see it's not recognizing these region and annual revenue fields. So if I choose this drop down, I'm actually gonna be able to see that that's not an option here. And that doesn't mean that you can't get your data into the system. What it means is you're just going to have to create custom fields within ProsperWorks before you upload that data. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna show you how to add those custom fields. So within system settings over here, we have an option in Customize ProsperWorks that's called Custom Fields. And those two options I had for region and annual revenue, I'm gonna add in right now. So for region, I know I have within my Excel file, I have people that are in the Western, Eastern, and Central region. So I'm gonna make that an option here. You have a lot of different options you can choose from from these custom fields. We're gonna choose a drop down menu. I'm gonna say West region, East region, and Central. And I'm gonna make this available on companies since that's what I'm importing right now. And I know that I actually have this listed on contacts as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this on people and select include in filters. I just always recommend selecting this box so you can filter for any of these items and click save. So I have that option available now. I'm also gonna add in the annual revenue. So annual revenue. And I'm gonna choose to actually just make this a text field. We're gonna just put that right into the system and make this available on companies and hit save. So let's go ahead and go back to imports. We're gonna do this one more time. So I'm going to import companies. I'm gonna go back to CSV. I'm gonna just drag this list again. And there we go. So it's still gonna ask me to upload that since I didn't change that, hit name. And now you see that it recognizes those region and annual revenue fields that I just had. It's gonna automatically see that those are now in the system and it's gonna import those when I choose to do my import. So I'm gonna hit next. It's gonna ask me if I want to import all of the companies that are within my Excel file, which I do wanna do. If there's any within your file that you don't wanna import, you can simply just uncheck some of these items and I'm going to hit import. So it just takes a couple of minutes for that import to get done. It really goes incredibly quickly and you can take a look at all of that data right away. So there we go, import complete. I'm gonna click okay. And it's gonna take me to that company page where I just added in all of that information. Pretty simple. So once that information is uploaded, you can see it's just displaying the name, the contact type, when it was last modified. I can choose to customize this list view right here and add in anything I wanna see in these companies. So I'm just gonna click this setting icon, customize columns. I want to actually add in the region, that custom field that I added and hit save. And you can now see the region of that company appears there as well. So pretty simple to upload those companies. 
Now that we've done that, I'm going to upload my list of contacts. And so since we added those companies first, I'm gonna show you my list of contacts right here. So we see on my contact list. Now I have names of contacts that are you know, associated with those companies I just uploaded, and I have their company name right here. So as long as you have that sort of mapping done, I have the name as well as the companies I, I just uploaded, Prosperworks is gonna make the connection within the system that that contact belongs to the companies that we just uploaded. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So let's go back here. I'm gonna go back to import. And now we're gonna to choose to import people. So same thing goes along here. I'm gonna select that I'm uploading from a CSV. Click next. I'm going to just drag that other file that I have here, my list of contacts, whoopsie. Come here, drag. And now we have that here. So you'll see Prosperworks actually recognizes all of the different fields that I had within my contact list. I also had region listed on my contacts. If you remember when we added that custom field, we marked that we want to include that on companies and on people. So it's actually recognizing that it wants to import that custom region field for people as well. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna see all the people that it's asking me to upload and I'm just gonna click import. So pretty simple once you have those custom lists made, either in Excel or CSV to upload that in the system. If any of those fields don't match up, you'll see that little red indicator that you need to actually map those fields. Sometimes you'll need to create custom fields. Sometimes you'll just need to choose from a different field title within Prosperworks that it just didn't recognize. All right, so now we've added in all of those people to the system. Let's go ahead and click on Amy, for example, right here. So we see Amy Couch, she's head of community. All of her information is uploaded. We can even see that region that she's included in right here. And if we click related, we can actually, we'll open her up and see that Amy is related to Food Spotting Inc., the company that we imported earlier. If I click on that, it's gonna bring up her company. So we saw we imported companies first, we imported people, if I click over here, I can see all the people that are related to that company that I just imported. So Prosperworks relates all of those imports really well together. So that's it for imports. Hope you learned a lot today. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact support at prosperworks.com. Have a good day.